Multiple crimes make headlines this week, and Frank the Crank wins his latest UFC fight. All that and more on this week's episode of Trend Spotting. This week has had some huge headlines in island crime news with a ton of conversations from people all over the world. So Chris, Sabrina, Ken, and I discuss the biggest stories on our newest podcast segment, Trend Spotting. Undoubtedly, the most talked about incident was that of the Machete Madness. Eyewitness former Senator Judy Guthertz says a couple of young men were roaming the streets, then one of them went up to her car and started attacking it with a machete. Right now, I feel very uh, nervous. <coughs> Looking, looking at a machete in front of me. What seemed like a dangerous situation was later acknowledged as exaggerated from a few people. I think the media blew it out of proportion. I think it was blown out of proportion. I think that it was exa as an exaggerated incident. Since then, two of the men, 19-year-old Emmanuel Resselap and 25-year-old Jordan Ratchelup, have been arrested. Here's how some of you reacted. Kathy was confused as to why it seemed like the victim was being questioned, stating, Guam is a small island, but there's so many crimes. Why? Because we are not dealing with them. Faye agrees about the crime rates going up and feels the only thing that was exaggerated was Lou's statement, that we live in a safe environment. She posted, Some people have been victimized in their homes, which is supposed to be one place we should feel safe. And Micah, who remembers Manilo never being that bad, stated, Sorry, but any crime committed is serious. It could have been any of our family members. It's time we take a stand. Since then, the Magahaga instructed police chief Steve Ignacio to set up village patrols and plans to hold meetings at the village level with FSM civic and church leaders, mayors, and other officials. For the latest updates with this story, you can read more on KUAM.com. Another rape makes headlines. 41-year-old Glyph Wane is behind bars, accused of raping a 15-year-old girl in Dedido. According to court documents, Wane allegedly walked into the victim's room, locked the door, and told her not to move or he'll do something to her. Wane allegedly pulled off the girl's shorts and panties and raped her. He later told her to forget anything happened. The community on Instagram did not hold back with their thoughts on the story, gaining over 110 comments, most of them looking to island leaders for a solution to the crime rate problem. Miss Kim stated, Our island is not safe anymore. This is all we hear and read. If it's not a machete incident, then it's a rape or home invasion. Come on, governor, let's stop this violence with these people. Kay Pangolinan also commented, our island leaders need to do something already. This is ridiculous. Wane was charged with first-degree criminal sexual conduct. A family trip to Kmart could have turned tragic for one family as a nine-year-old boy was almost kidnapped. The Guam Police Department is now searching for a man who tried to kidnap the boy at Kmart at around 8.30 p.m. Tuesday night. The boy had wandered away from his parents, and while at the TV section, a man wearing a blue hat and gray shirt grabbed him, covered his mouth, and tried to force the boy to follow him. The child grabbed a shelf, forcing the suspect to release him and walk away. The only other detail provided are that the suspect is in his 20s and has a dark complexion. Here's how some reacted online. Monica stated, CCTV? Big Brother should always be watching. What happened to the store cameras? Security? And stress to parents to please keep their children in sight. Saying, Our island home has always been a safe place, but things have changed, obviously. Evil spirits are roaming freely. It takes seconds for your child to be taken, grabbed, or lured. Protect them. One comment that stood out from the rest was from the nine-year-old boy's auntie. Millie thanked everyone for checking up on her nephew after the news broke out. She states that Kmart does have surveillance footage, but unfortunately were not able to see anything on the footage that was there. She wrote, According to my sister, Kmart's cameras are very old, some not working, and their system only allows for review of footage one camera at a time. They were there for over an hour looking through footage. If you have any information, you are urged to call GPD dispatchers at 472-8911. A post by local painter Michelle Peer went viral over the island as her father, 67-year-old Kenny Peer, was assaulted by teenagers at the Agate Marina Monday night. In the post, Peer stated that the teens hang out around the Agate Marina, running around the docks, jumping on and off people's boats, 
and recklessly riding bikes up and down the narrow docks. As Kenny asked the boys to stop and leave, one kid flipped him off and then a little while later came full force on his bike down the dock right towards him and his wife. The kid lunged at Kenny and started trying to fight him. The 67-year-old was able to get the teenager out of the gate and held it shut. A nearby boat owner witnessed the assault and called the police. According to the Post, the teenagers were caught. Kenny suffered from some bruises and a small bloody abrasion on his collarbone area, but otherwise was fine, according to Michelle's post. The post gained over 550 shares and received over hundreds of comments, most expressing their concern for her parents and others showing their disgust towards the teen. Here are a few. Natalie Calvo states, Sorry to hear this happen to your parents. Walter also states, Sorry to hear about the total lack of respect to your mom and dad. And Anne Perez commented, I'm glad Libby and Ken are fine. Charges should be made against these offending punks. They have to be taught that the community demands respect and care. In lighter news, Daniel King, repeat winner of the annual Islandwide Science Fair, took home two awards from the 2019 Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, notably the largest international pre-college science competition in the world. The JFK Jr. represented Guam at the fair from May 12th to the 17th in Phoenix and came out as a fourth grand award winner in the material science category and the top contestant of his category for the Air Force Research Laboratory Award. Award. Congrats, Daniel! Lastly, to end the show with more good news, a huge congratulations to Frank the Crank Camacho in his latest UFC fight. Camacho defeated Nick Hine in a stunning standing TKO in the second round in Stockholm, Sweden. Here's how the online community congratulated him. 